Most of what we've heard lately about the pandemic here in the U.S. has been encouraging. Infections, hospitalizations, and deaths are falling. Mask mandates and other restrictions have been lifted. But public health experts are concerned we may see an increase of coronavirus infections as soon as this spring because they've seen warning signs both in this country and overseas. NPR health correspondent Rob Stein joins us. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Scott. And what causes their concern? Well, you know, I should start off by saying there's no huge alarm bell sounding yet, but there are a few trends that are definitely making people jittery. The big one is what's happening in other countries. New surges have erupted in Asia, also in Europe, in Germany, the Netherlands. Cases are rising again in the UK, which has often been a harbinger of what's to come for the US. I talked about this with the White House's medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. What happens in the UK usually happens here a few weeks later. That doesn't mean it's going to happen here with this situation, but I think it's just important to at least recognize that this has happened in the past. Dr. Fauci says those European surges are being driven by three factors, countries opening up, protection from the vaccines and previous infections waning, and an even more contagious subvariant of the already quite contagious Omicron variant taking over. And that's all happening here, too. And is it that Omicron subvariant? that's the main factor that's making people nervous. Well, that's definitely a big one. It's slowly but quite steadily on the rise in the U.S. According to the CDC, this even more contagious version of Omicron now accounts for about a quarter of all new infections in the U.S., and far more than that in some parts of the country, like the Northeast. And this subvariant comes just as the U.S. is pretty much cutting loose after two long years of hunkering down. You know, kids aren't even wearing masks in school anymore. Lots of people are acting like the pandemic's essentially over, which could let the virus take off again. Here's Dr. Anthony Fauci again. I would not be surprised if in the next few weeks we do see either a plateauing or even a rebound and slightly go up. That is entirely conceivable. Some infectious disease experts are also pointing to another potentially worrisome sign. The CDC has a new early warning system that looks for levels of the virus in wastewater, and that indicates the virus may already be starting to creep up again in some parts of the country. All right, you've convinced me that there's a, that there's a chance cases are going to increase <laughs> soon. Could it reach the huge number that we have seen in previous surges? You know, Scott, that seems rather unlikely, you know, because so many people in this country still have pretty strong immunity because of the vaccines and because so many people caught Omicron in this country this winter. And it's far from a foregone conclusion the U.S. will experience any new surge. You know, while what happens in the U.K. has often foreshadowed what happens in the U.S., that's not always true. You know, it could end up being more something more like a small bump, or maybe the big decline in infections we've been experiencing will slow down even more, extending the tail of the current surge. That's definitely not good news, but it's better than yet another wave. Another scenario is that this new type of Omicron could spark localized outbreaks around the country, especially in places where fewer people have been vaccinated or previously infected. But Dr. Anthony Fauci told me that any of these scenarios are possible. It's very difficult to make predictions with a degree of certainty with this particular virus because it's fooled us in the past. So everyone's kind of holding their breath to see what happens over the next few weeks, but they want to warn people that, you know, they should keep their masks handy in case we all need to start wearing them again. NPR health correspondent Rob Stein. I I have mine on this morning. Take care. (laughs) You too, Scott.